The term teritophyta is derived from Greek word teron meaning a feather and phyton meaning a plant. Therefore, teritophyta is a group of plants with feather-like appearance. This group includes higher cryptogams which are also known as vascular cryptogams. The term cryptogams, cryptos, hidden, gamos, wedded, was suggested by Linnaeus in 1754 for all non-flowering plants that reproduce by means of spores and do not produce seeds. The term vascular indicates the presence of vascular tissues, xylem and phloem for the conduction of water and food. Thus, the vascular cryptogams or pteridophytes can be defined as an assemblage of seedless vascular plants that have successfully invaded the land and reproduced by means of spores. The main feature of pteridophytes are these plants have an independent gametophyte and an independent sporophyte. This is contrast to the bryophytes where the sporophyte is a parasite on gametophyte and the gymnosperms and angiosperms where the gametophyte is a parasite on sporophyte. The dominant phase of life cycle is the sporophyte. This was the first group of vascular plants to invade the land. This was the first group to have a vascular system, xylem and phloem. They do not produce seeds but produce spores. They include most primitive living and fossil vascular plants. They are represented by about 400 living and fossil genera and some 10,500 species. The fossils records indicated that these plants originated about 380 million years ago in the Silurian period of Paleozoic era and formed dominant vegetation on earth during the Devonian period. The tree, ferns, giant horse, tails and arborescent lycopods dominated during this period. Thank you.